Cooper, ground ball first. Davis, the second for one, throw to first too late. But Reddy is caught up between third and home. They put the tag on him. And there goes Cooper to second. He is out. Triple play. 3-6, three, 3-2-4 three, if you're scoring one of the most unusual triple plays you'll ever see. The boo of the week goes to one of the most overrated defensive strategies in baseball. Bring the infield in. It almost gives the batter an automatic hit. For example, let's go to the videotape. This week's Cubs-Giants game. The Giants, as you see, bring the infield in. Cubs trail 4-3, bottom of the eighth. Cubs have second and third, one out. Ron Say comes up and hits what normally would be a routine ground ball to the shortstop, but nobody's there because the infield is in. Chicago, one of the great things about the old ballparks like Wrigley Field is this. Let's go to the videotape. This was also Giants-Cubs game. Top of the second, Chili Davis was the batter. And boom, Davis with a home run shot over the vine, over the bleachers, and over the wall. So, youngster walking down the street, hey, there's a ball. Look, come on, let me go in that yard. Souvenir baseball. One of the great things about the old ballparks you don't have in the new parks. All right, let's go to the videotape, the plays of the week. Here we go. First of all, the best catch by a center fielder going against the fence. Lenny Dykstra of the Mets, who goes back, leaps, and robs Dave Parker of the Reds. The best catch by a center fielder diving to his left. Again, it's Lenny Dykstra, who robs Max Venable of at least a double. The best missed catch of the week, rookie Jose Conoseco of the Oakland A's. Nice catch, Jose. The worst catch of a pop-up, Ron Hasty of the Yankees. He's got it, right? Wrong. The best reaction by a pitcher on a line drive back to the mound, boom, it's Paul Assenbacher of the Braves. The boo of the week goes to Willie Randolph who puts the tag on Don Slott, but there's no umpire around. Come on, ump, give us a break, get into the game, says Willie. The best juggling act by a pitcher, Rick Mailer of the Braves, put him on the Ed Sullivan Show. The longest shot of the week, last night, Dennis Johnson attempting to pass, an 81-footer, good. The best shot taken by a referee, Darrell Garrettson accidentally hit by Charles Davis. The best bullet pass underneath, Magic Johnson to Kurt Rambis. The best behind the back pass, Dennis Johnson to Jerry Seasting. The best stranglehold of the week, Charles Davis of the Bucks, who grabs Charles Barkley of the 76ers. The hockey fight of the week, Jim Peplinski of the Flames, Rob Ramage of the Blues, and uh -oh. <laughs> Arnold Schwarzenegger was at the game showing you how he proposed to Maria Shriver. <laughs> Until next Friday, this is Warner Wolf. You didn't show my reaction. No. <laughs> <laughs> now we're going to make you yes. sweat a little, Warner. I mean, two weeks ago we asked you who was going to yes. who was going to win the Kentucky Derby, Groovy. and you were right on the money, Groovy. Well, last time we all dead looked at last. Groovy, dead. In fact, last. here comes I mean, Groovy that, now. That was great. That's it. Your Groovy's still running. Well, so who's going to win well, this weekend? Well, you know, the Preakness is a shorter race, mm -hmm. and Groovy led at the three-quarter pole. So, so to show you what a loyal guy I am, no. I just happen to have this Don't card.